It is pouring rain now in Chicago. A lot of fans betting for the exits. 24 to 3. Think back to last year, Joe Burrow, but before he went down with a wrist injury. And it was joint practices this week that allowed Joe Burrow to say, We checked another box. We played with the wet ball, played sopping wet. <laughs> Gets the day off today. Tell you what, he's looked good. I watched him at several practices this week against the Bucks. Looked really good. Lombardi. Hand off right up the gut. And I tell you what, in, in the day of that artificial grass turf and the rubber cutting, when you're playing in a... Now we just need a little mud to creep through the grass, maybe, but this grass is so nice, I doubt you'll see any mud out there. It wouldn't be proper NFL focus aesthetic. Well, Same could be said here in Illinois. Six plays on the drive, five for Washington. Shoulders the contact from Stewart, goes flinging into the Chicago bench. See a little pressure by a few extra yards there. Nobody, great play there. Nice, dumps it off to McLaughlin. Pass, pass catching abilities. He actually passed Rob Gronkowski for the most receptions by an Arizona tight end. Sixth round draft pick. Right here, swiped out of the back, knocked it out from behind. He was tackling them, hit by a couple guys. Coleman was the one who stripped it. And Randolph says thank you very much with the preseason. Early state. Tyler Bajant remains in at quarter. Back for the Bears. Hands off the jump step. Wide receiver turned running back. Hadn't played that since he was a high school senior. 56 and put the leather on him. Tell you what, he filled the hole and made a nice tap. Three yard gain. Three yard. Agent Jones. And as a first down, let's go down to Marissa with Ted Karras. Thanks, Michael. Ted, appreciate you braving the elements with us to do this. Having a healthy Joe Burrow out there has been great to see. How valuable has it been for you guys to get those extra reps in? I think football, getting all the reps together, we've gotten a lot of great work in. This has been a great day in Chicago. Hopefully we can put up some points on the board to end it. You talk about that continuity. For you guys on the offense, how valuable is it to have that stability across the four of you? You know, it's the rarest commodity in football, and we all know, you know, NFL cast of characters working together now. With this team, what expectation are you setting for this offense and the offensive line? Last year, that was a uh, really big disappointment, and we need to... Ted, you've done incredible work in the community. We're our Walter Payton Man of the Year last year for a great reason, but I know you... Yes, no, in Harrison, Ohio, we're... Uh... My team and I are uh, building a 13-acre, over 100-unit neighborhood for adults with intellectual Cincinnati. So uh, thank you to the Harrison government and everyone that's helped us. My team, Paradigm Construction, Cincy Hat. Um, you know, we're, we're doing big things. That's awesome. It really is. <laughs> that is wonderful. What a great guy. <clears throat> Gotten to know Ted over the last couple of years. And uh, he's knows we're there. A long run after Catherine Wheeler. Needed more than that. Sideline and Cairo Santos has gone great. Uh, an idea I had with Ted Karras, and his first thing was, I'll do what foundation dinner. I auctioned off dinner. The old guys and the myself, and then I got Karras, and these guys, and hopefully Mims, we're doing a dinner. Somebody bought it, and we're going to go to a local restaurant and have it. I can't be in with us old guys, so uh, right away, like I said, I shared that idea with him. He says, I'm making with those young guys, too. I'm sure they'll love it. Certainly for it's a tough one in the rain. He knocked it through anyways. It's something the NFL has worked to take out of the game. Much as we've seen the dynamic kickoff, talk about the hip drop tackle. I would really hurt myself, so I'll let you guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. That wasn't part of the deal. And then jump with Mark. So you got a wrap. Yeah. You got to unway, swivel, and then go. Oh. Carry him off the field. He's of an offensive guy anyways. He was, he's not much of a hit. And we fumbled. <laughs> now seven years doing the uh, Bengals preseason spotting alongside me. So if, if you hear... Mark starts sweating. He thought I was really going to tap. I know. I know. 
already on. Who, who nearly caught that? Anywho, it's McLaughlin incomplete. <laughs> Second down. I mean, this guy has dealt with an Achilles rupture and an ACL tear. I mean, he can't do any more damage. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you told me. <laughs> we, we had to call EMT. <laughs> had to call EMT, wheel him out. <laughs> I would have got the pen. <laughs> Five minutes gone in the fourth quarter. The party hands off to Kane. Drop in action. This is what it looked like. So there you go. There's the wrap and then the swivel and then unway. Oh, my goodness. Third down and ten plus games in, in the league this year we may talk about it a couple dozen times at most it's jumping in here comes Lombardi throws short caught McLaughlin 25 he needs to get out to the 20 yep first down Cincinnati and you heard Ted Karras say it put some points on the board have that moment you just want to be you just want to execute go down the field score some points Sat Brown and Mims down due to injury. Not that either would have expected substantial time. Jackson Carmen's come in late. Louisville last year after four years at Purdue. 24 years old out of Mason, Ohio. We saw a lot. And we got a couple Fairfield. Got that area covered. In fact, my daughter was a uh, Mason Comet. Kids at Fortson Comets. That bounced. It's incomplete. Coleman went diving for it. How about we head downstairs? Things I've been hearing during camp on this defense. How critical will it be for you guys to come out week one and really set that tone? Um, it's a must. Our division's tough. And finally, each and every day, um, that's what we want to do each and every day at practice, and um, that's going to make our defense good. Team I'm glad we brought him in. Um, he's going to help our defense so much. Um, just the way he rushes and he also stops the run. I'm learning so much from him. He's getting a little A lot of young guys out there on the field. In a day that you're not necessarily suiting up, how are you helping kind of provide that mentorship and leadership to some of these young players? Um, we're always doing, um, see, it's like what you like, ask them what they like, what they think about this play, what they do in this play. So it's got to help them. interview without asking about the hair do we know i might i might go for the orange out uh, yeah I, I could i could pull it off but you know waiting on my hair to grow back so i can get my my hair back that's what i'm saying we're just gonna die it's nothing up there he could do the beard but he's not gonna touch it but he got a nice little beard going for him i think you should consider the orange though uh, thank you jermaine pratt out here catching a stray <laughs> thanks marissa Rico's got a lot of work in today. Simba is back to return. Simba went. Rico knuckles toward the 20. Special teams at a high level. The game, surely, presented by Paramount Plus. Come September 8th. You can wear it most any time. Four career starts, three in Denver, one last year with the LA Rams. And Ian Wheeler goes to work. Started a game against Green Bay, really struggled. 172 yards in a pick. He was cut the following week. But with LA Chicago starting in March and with the number one overall pick, Caleb Williams, coming in, a chance for him to help be a mentor to a, a young Griffin. Throws to Wheeler out of the backfield. Forced out of bounds by Aaron Casey. Here, 109 tackles and 20 TFLs, which was most in the Big Ten and third in the country. Wow. Jim there right now, getting playing time. Got Joshua Pryor, number 47. Slazix. Tommy Sweeney is in as the fullback, and Wheeler got wrapped up in the backfield, and then the Bengals converge. Devin see him right there finding the hole and then making the tackle. Great job by Devin Harper. Elongated stop. White is moving slowly and they're bringing him off the field. 
replacing him with Doug Kramer Jr. And so wholesale changes on both sides of the ball here. Good to go. This is Waitman who's come in. They made a nice effort, but uh, not. Take a look right. Oh. He's on the line there, and he's got. Not a lot has been obvious about who is or isn't <laughs> over lines in that end zone today. <laughs> See if the Bengals offense can make something here with 5.13 to play. In, and that was doomed from the start. Um, that was, I, I would say, a quick snap there. Matt Lee, who's played the whole game. There is no foul for a false start. The center snaps it before anybody moves. I mean, that's been different if somebody who moved, then he snapped it. Yep. Merchandise anywhere. Visit the Pro Shop seven days a week. Located on the north side of Paycor Stadium or shop online at Ben Kane. Powers over the right side. Bears defense stopping things up pretty good, being pretty stout against the Bengals offensive line. Four and a half minutes to play. Lombardi spikes it. Down. Good move by Lombardi. He had no other choice but to, to get that one down on the ground. Throw it in the ground. Third and six. Elijah Collins returns. Incomplete. Butler, the UFL Offensive Player of the Year for the St. Louis Battlehawks was out there. M yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looked like Moore uh, almost got his hands on that one. Webster awaits. Webster brought down at the 36. 50-yard punt for Rico. Cedric Johnson. How about that? And so with the sun beaming down here at Soldier Field, Rippin will try and close this out. Classic game is a rare fullback rostered in the league at this point, but it's Tommy Sweeney, the reserve top. Across midfield, Swain inside the 40. DJ Jewel. Nice play action fake right up the middle, wide open. That was quite, he just turns and throws the football, completes it. That's good for 25. Brought him down, and let's go down to Marissa with Orlando Brown. Thanks, Mike. Orlando, year two for your here, you here is in to help this offense reach its goals this year. Really, just to be the best me that I can be um, in every way, shape, and form. Uh, I want to be the best at one of what I do in all areas, and so, um, man, I attacked everything. It's been so great to see both you and Trent really working with Amarius off on the side when we're watching something that you want to make sure you're helping mentor him. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, as a young player in, in a similar position, I wasn't a first-round pick, but being a third-round pick with the long. So uh, my vets for me, Marshall Yonda, Ronnie Stanley, James Hurst, I was able to go to them, ask questions, and learn. And uh, he's got a very humble, um, the best for him in it, which is obviously going to make be best for our team. So, so you, Amarius, and Trent all listed at 6'8", but has there been any debate as to maybe who? Shortest out of us three. I, I 
I don't know. They make me feel like I'm not a real 6'8". They, they might, I might be 6'8". They might be more 6'10". So. <laughs> Come a fan favorite are your mini mics that we get to see every so often. Can you clue us in or maybe kind of give us a little sneak preview at any upcoming topic? topics? But I can tell you that, you know, for me, uh, it's a more of an opportunity to be able to get to know my teammates even more and, you know, obviously letting the outside. Uh, that's really what it's my, on what I got coming. We'll just have to wait then. Orlando, appreciate the time. No problem. Thank you, guys. Thank you both. Nose ripping in the gun. Up into the red zone. I tell you what. Mm. Bates, this fourth catch of the preseason. Only had four all year last year at Kentucky. There were two. The Raiders coming back to town. Of course, our divisional games are always exciting. That's going to be quite the free. And they'll look forward to their final preseason matchup. Try and get to 4 0 in the preseason. They won for their last five last year. They've got all this young talent. They'll go to Kansas City next week, open up with Tennessee against Indianapolis. Well, we did get a, a really good idea of what this defense can do top to bottom and on the offense. They did. Um, you know, there were some good, good things that happened. Mm -hmm. You know, pass blocking by the offensive line for the most part. The backup Bears defense, which, you know, as you mentioned early on, eight sacks against uh, the Bills. Other than a couple uh, blitzes, that they drove the ball, and then some key mistakes uh, in ending those drives. Final kneel down from Rippon. This is on Wednesday into Thursday. The trip here for Cincinnati ends with a preseason defeat. Chance to pick up that first win. More importantly, all eyes on the upcoming regular season opener. A playing time today. They're going to get a lot more playing time Thursday night. So, uh, you know, for those that will stick around, valuable time for those that uh, game tape for them to, to take with them and maybe, I don't know, practice squad or maybe an opportunity to get picked up somewhere else. They got to uh, look at the, the good things today and we've talked about them. I mean, you know, defensively, you know, Caleb uh, Williams, are not but uh, yeah, and our offense uh, did some good things too. So Chicago wins this one 27 for the week three in Indy. We will too.